All right, hey guys, what is up? It is Bibzuda back here once again on the Outlast Trials, continuing the Bambino Special Event Part 1 here. We are on the fourth trial of the event, which is Teach the Police Officer, one of the new MK challenges. And we are doing this on the Psychosurgery Difficulty. I did already run through all these on Intensive. If you're interested in watching those, check it out on my channel. As with all of the Psychosurgery Difficulty trials in Bambino. We are dealing with increased threat to unreliable doors and limited hide spots as the first three variators. And then we have psycho surgery, which is the one from this high difficulty, which makes it so that you uh, lose an inventory spot, your rig cooldown is pretty much forever, and um, the enemies are more dangerous, maximum traps, things like that. Pretty much everything is tuned up almost as high as it can go. And then we have Franco Barbie, the variator from the event. So Franco replaces the pusher and comes out and annoys you and shoots you in the face. So fun stuff. Rocket my standard setup, stun, destruction, charm, and incognito. And we're going to jump into the trial here. This should be an interesting one. Let's hope for good luck on the real spawn and the keys and all that. Um, I do like this new trial. Pretty big fan of it. I know some people don't like, think, like, some people think it's too big and stuff, but I don't know. I think once you've done it, oh, look at that, we already have the eyeball door. That's pretty rare. Uh, and by rare, I mean that's the first time I've seen one that I can see before making it to the auditorium. But yeah, once you've done it a few times, like I have now with uh, Escalation and everything, it isn't too bad in my opinion in terms of the size, because you kind of get an idea of where to go to look for... Uh, the doors and then you can kind of you know you kind of get a feel for where they can spawn so usually I'll do a nice little lap of the top floor here and that unreliable doors variator is most annoying uh, there's our friend but we do have another door up here so we have a bunny and eye on the top floor usually oh Okay, pal, I don't have time for you to freaking pick at your butthole while you open the door. Like, good lord. Alright. You can head down to the second floor, or whatever you want to call it. Like, the ground floor, I think, is what this would be. I don't really know. It's a bit confusing, because that, like, bleachers thing is, like, down some stairs, but it's hardly its own floor. Whatever. The standard area where the full Kill the Snitch trial takes place, of course. Yeah, usually, like, especially on the top floor, I've noticed, like, sometimes there won't even be one on the top floor, but there, um, there, there certainly, I don't think, would most of the time be more than two. So we do have our diamond key door here, and I can't see a damn thing because of the stupid screamer. But we now have the bunny, which is upstairs, and the fire keys. Okay, I will grab this because we saw a locked uh, blue thing. I don't know if there's actual names for these. Well, that one, I guess, pretty easily could just be called first aid. But I don't know if the blue ones have official names. They do have those icons on them, uh, the little gears. Those, those didn't used to be there um, originally. Just a little tidbit if you maybe didn't know. The little gear labels on the blue boxes are something rather relatively new. Oh my god, what luck that is. Holy smokes. Wait, isn't the auditorium like right here? It is. Holy crap, what a... What an insanely lucky... <laughs> Real spawn, that is going to be hard to beat, because it was on the top floor as well. Wow. That is awesome. Give that guy the br Oh no, we don't have posters! Uh, I kind of just want to beat it just for the, the, t the speed run time, just to see how fast it is. We're gonna, we're gonna rerun the trial for the A+, so you guys will see that, but... I don't know. I, I, I just want to get this this time and like have a screenshot of it. Because that's got to be one of the fastest run throughs, especially on psychosurgery difficulty. I mean, 3 minutes 43, teach the police officer. 
That's crazy. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I'll be back when we return and we'll run through it again. Uh, hopefully get the posters this time. All right, after that fun little speedrun detour, um, we're going to jump back into the trial here and hopefully get the A plus this time. Maybe I should have just stuck around and got the posters, but hey, just a little bit of fun. If I had 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 the posters, then that would have certainly been a, I mean, had to be like a record time for, um, for an A plus, but since I didn't, then still pretty good. I mean, it's not as fast as it could have been maybe necessarily. Like I could have probably sprinted around a bit more like a, like a maniac, but I am generally trying to go for the A+, plus, so most of the time that is not something I'm interested in doing. We have the heart and the club key, spade key, or spade door is up here on the top floor. So I'll remember that. And no dice on a rig recharger. We got anger issues. Um, see, I mean, there's also this staircase that leads like kind of down the floor, so. Again, it's kind of confusing. Oh, that was fortunate. If you look the other way there. Yeah, so we just have the spade door up there. You can head back down. So you can see, I mean, I kind of just do the same thing. <laughs> At this point on this trial, I have a bit of a, a standard strategy. And we can grab this poster. Uh, oh, hello, Franco. And you're just, oh yeah, seemed like an unnecessary jump there, but hey, go go crazy if you'd like. Uh, I do find that uh, almost always one of the interrogation, or the interrogation room, I guess, there's only one accessible in the trial. But I do find that that is almost always one of the, one of the rooms with a TV and whatever. Uh, we don't have the bunny, so, oh. How did you not see me there? I was it said I was in the light. Um, and then now I'll usually go down into the basement before going over to administration. But if Coil just jumped down there, which it looks like he did, maybe I will stay up here for a change and see if we can get anything good over there. Oh, it's dark out here. Interesting. Still getting used to the light differences in certain spots, like how it is, um, it's lit up in the infirmary, which is unusual as well. Usually one of these doors is one of the ones that require a key, but not this time. Maybe one over here, another rig recharger perhaps? Wow, very nice. Now I would probably just want to swap out my bottle for a brick. Um, but yeah, it appears we did not get any luck here. We can drop down out that door, um, and that's what I'll probably do in a minute. I assume, though, that the cafeteria spot is one of the key doors. Uh-oh. Okay. We'll have to, we'll have to come at it from this other side. Because I saw through the window there that it was blocked, like barricaded from the side that we were on. So I assume that this door on our right here is going to be one of them. No, the cafeteria is also not, so... Oh! Oh no. I didn't know this was the wrong one. Um, this is the jump up. Is Coil going to drop down again? Oh. All right, we're getting a bit fortunate here so far. We'll head down into the basement. The uh, night vision guy is off and down here. Ah, nice. We do have all our posters done this time. And oh, it looks like my daily tasks have just refreshed. And we completed one of them uh, almost immediately, so that's always nice. And over here is where you'll usually find one or two even of the doors and finally one of the doors that we can actually open using up our heart key and that gives us the bunny and the spade spade was up yeah we we know where both of these are 
Spade was on the tip top. Oh. Oh, there's also the club here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Headshot. Three enemies. Another daily done. Oh. You and me got the same job. Collecting taxes I'm gonna open this. Star and crown. So we might, we probably should stay down here and open the crown, which is over there. I've never seen three in such close proximity before, but still learning about how this trial can play out. Franco should be leaving. Probably is now gone, I would assume. And yeah, we can quickly go over and open the crown into the shooting range. Could potentially have the real, but no, it has the two heads. If you see those, you know you don't need to bother looking around further. Some of these rooms are pretty big. We can head upstairs here. Getting a lot of extra posters. And now we need to go back across to the interrogation room. We know this door over here is open since I went through here earlier. So that can be used as an easy way to get around. And we don't need to worry about the proximity gate because this route is also available. See, I like this uh, trial quite a bit because it does reward quite well the uh, knowledge of the map layout. And we got the heads again, so we're going to go upstairs. And then I'm not sure where the star door is. Oh wait, could this be? This could be one, actually. This is, yeah. This door to the cafeteria. I kind of forgot about this door to the cafeteria. Oftentimes when one of these rooms, um, although this isn't it, it's gonna be the spade one upstairs. When this room I've found, or this, the infirmary room, have one of their doors or more than one of their doors blocked with like the yellow, like permanently blocked stuff. Probably one of their other entrances is going to be a, uh, a key door. That's been my experience for the most part on this trial. So we've got the spade. Let's swap this out. This works out again because, of course, it's always best to find the reel as close to the auditorium as possible since you don't have to schlep it around at that point. And this one is very close, for the most part. Pretty sure this is guaranteed to be it. Yeah, there shouldn't have been any more options. So we went from the best possible luck to technically the worst possible luck, since we did use up all the keys and open all the doors. But still, since I you know, am, am, have pretty good knowledge of the map and know where to go, it's not so bad. So I, that's kind of why I, I do like this trial quite a bit. Additionally, the ending is generally fairly free, uh, I find. Coil usually doesn't even show up, but if he does, it's way too late. So, yeah, I'm gonna pop this guy with a couple of rig throws just to pump my rig usage numbers up. You know how it is. Show off to the people on the scoreboards in the, in the sleep room, am I right? And that should be a clean no demerits A+. Plus. And it is A+. Plus. 8 minutes, 37 seconds. Teach the police officer Bambino psychosurgery here. No real issues with that one. So, yeah, that's, that's quickly becoming one of my favorite MK challenges. Just personally. Getting close to another reagent release. Um, and actually, we've got Poison the Medicine coming up next. So we'll be able to do the release after that. That should be probably pretty dang difficult, but we'll see. Since the Franco Barbie Variator will not be active, it will make things a little bit less stressful in that regard. But yeah, see you guys for the next one.